Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber Rachelle, and if you're new here, I make new videos every single Wednesday about motherhood and lifestyle. Today's video is going to be a Walmart grocery haul featuring a recipe at the end, so make sure you stick around for that. So we're going to go ahead and get started by bringing in all of the groceries and then unbagging everything. So now that everything is unbagged, here's an overall glimpse of what I went ahead and picked up from the store. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just walk you through what I went ahead and purchased, so that way I can go ahead and start putting it away. So I'm gonna start with the stuff that needs to be in the freezer first, so that way I can hurry up and put that away. And the first thing that we have is this Homestyle Vanilla Ice Cream. This is the brand Great Value. I love their brand and I think it's really good, so I picked up a tub of that. For the rest of the frozen stuff, I went ahead and picked up three bags of shrimp. We love frying some shrimp in our house. We think it's really good, or also if you wanted to pan sear it, grill it, however you guys wanna cook it, we love shrimp, so we always make sure that we grab a couple extra bags so we can keep those on hand at all times. We also got some veggie spirals. These are the zucchini ones. I wanted to see if my daughter would eat these because we have difficulty getting her to eat vegetables, but she loves pasta, so I'm gonna see if I can sneak these into her diet somewhere and see if I can get away with her eating the zucchini noodles. Also, I got the rice cauliflower because same thing, my daughter loves real rice, so I decided to try out the rice cauliflower and to see if I can maybe trick her into eating this one instead. Up next, I have some Tyson's chicken patties. This is a 3.7 pound bag. These are just like for quick, easy lunches or like a lazy dinner one night if I wanted it. So I went ahead and picked a bag of those up to keep those in the freezer. And I also got a pack of Gordon's fish sticks. This is the family pack, the 52 pack. I went ahead and got these so I can try them with my daughter just to see if she likes them. So we'll give that a shot and see how that goes. And the last thing that we have from the freezer section is these great value bacon, egg, and cheese croissants. I think that these are really good and they're quick and easy. And they're also really cheap. It was only $3 for each box and there's four of them in each box. So I think that that's a pretty good deal. And like I said, I think they're pretty tasty. And it's just for a quick and easy breakfast if I don't feel like cooking one morning. have boxed items I'll go ahead and unbox them first before putting them away just so I can save on a little bit of space so here's a quick look at our freezer and I know that it doesn't look the most organized but I promise you it's organized chaos I do plan on completely reorganizing the freezer one day so be on the lookout for that, but right now, this is what we're working with. So now on for the refrigerated items. I did grab two packs of cookies. I, it, yeah, it's that time of the month and I really wanted something sweet. So I grabbed two packs of cookies just so I could have some on hand. And then I also grabbed these little chicken salad cups. It was a four pack from the Great Value brand. And these are just good for a quick, easy, and fast lunch. So I got some chicken salad and I also got some Great Value Parmesan cheese because I am making a couple meals this week that do need Parmesan cheese. So I went ahead and picked up a bag of those. And just like the shrimp, we always pick up a pack or two of bacon from the store so that way we can keep that on hand as well. So I went ahead and got this Great Value Hickory Smoked Bacon and it is a one pound pack. And then I also got a pack of turkey from the deli just for some sandwiches, again, for a quick and easy lunch. And I also picked up a half gallon of 2% milk because we were all out and needed some more. All right, so up next we are moving on to produce. I grabbed some whole white mushrooms because I need them for a recipe this week. I bought a five pound bag of russet potatoes. Again, these are just something that we always like to keep on hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in the pantry along with this bag of yellow onions. Again, something that we just always like to keep on hand. Next up, I got a pack of carrots because I am gonna be making a soup this week that needs to have the carrots. So I got a pack of those. And also for that same soup, I needed some zucchini. So I got a zucchini and I got a yellow squash as well. Again, all three of these are for the soup and also some limes. 
Again, just always like to keep these on hand. I also got two lemons because I am making some chicken piccata. I've never made it before, so I'm kind of nervous, but I saw that I needed some lemon. So I got two lemons just for the chicken piccata because other than that, we really don't use lemons that often because we have limes. And last but not least for the produce, I got a pack of the Gala apples. These are my favorite types of apples. I think they're really sweet and crisp, which is my favorite type of apples. And for bread, we have the sweet Hawaiian onion hamburger rolls. I know it sounds weird, but I really like these for sandwiches, so I got a pack of those. I also got a pack of flour tortillas for some wraps I'm gonna make this week. And then we got a loaf of bread. This is our favorite bread in our household, so we get this one pretty much every single time we buy a loaf of bread. And last but not least, we have some pantry items. So we needed to restock on some vegetable oil and extra virgin olive oil. So I went ahead and picked up two of those. We always have to have Doritos in the house and we ran out. So of course I had to pick up another bag of those. I got some Little Bites blueberry muffins for my daughter. Again, this was a craving item. So I got a box of brownies. I won't, I don't know when I'm gonna make them, but I wanted to have some brownies sometime soon. So I went ahead and picked up a box of Betty Crocker Supreme Chocolate Chunk Brownies. And then I have some white cheddar crunchers for my daughter. They're like just white cheddar Cheetos. It's the Parents' Choice brand and my daughter really likes them. And I also picked up a canister of the Gerber Peach Puffs. And like I said, I am making chicken piccata, so I got a jar of capers because you need it for the recipe. I've never had chicken piccata before, so I've never had capers, and I really don't know how it's gonna turn out. But I guess we will see, and I'll let you guys know what I think about them. We were running low on jelly, so I went ahead and picked some up for the pantry, and I also got some apple juice for my daughter. While I was putting stuff away, my daughter decided to join me, so here we are just putting stuff away together. Usually when I buy meat from the store, I like to go ahead and pre-portion it into meal-sized portions. So here I am just separating the pack of chicken into two separate packs, so that way I can make two meals out of it. And then I throw away my trash, and then I take my Wyman granite stone cleaner and disinfectant, and then just go ahead and spray down the counter and wipe it down to make sure it's all clean. So now that everything is clean and put away, I'm gonna be starting on my dinner. Like I said earlier, I am gonna be trying out a chicken piccata recipe, and the recipe will be linked down in the description below if you guys are interested. But right here, I'm just starting off with the flour mixture for the chicken, so I'm mixing all the appropriate ingredients, and then we're gonna go ahead and prep some other items. And with a teething, almost one year old, you definitely need a drink. So here I am just sipping my drink while I'm making my dinner. Up next, I'm gonna be peeling some potatoes so that way I can make my mashed potatoes for a side dish. I did run out of red potatoes, so I just supplement it with some of the russet potatoes that I just bought. So here I am just kind of prepping the potatoes for the mashed potatoes. So now that all the potatoes are peeled and diced and ready to be boiled for the mashed potatoes, I'm just squeezing out however much lemon juice I need and removing all the seeds. And then I'm also going to pre-portion out the amount of white wine that I need and sit that to the side while I start working on the chicken. I do rinse my chicken off, so I'm just drying it on a paper towel. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pat it dry to make sure that it's nice and dry before I start trimming and prepping it for the flour mixture. chicken has been coated in the flour mixture I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a pan with some olive oil and let that start browning up while I start boiling all of the potatoes so this is what the chicken looks like once it is fried and golden brown I do like to slice it with a knife just to make sure it's cooked on the inside and next I'm going to prepare my asparagus with some olive oil spray and then some pepper salt and garlic powder
So after the asparagus goes into the oven, I'm just gonna go ahead and start working on the sauce for the chicken piccata. While the sauce is doing its thing and my potatoes are cooked and fork tender, I'm gonna go ahead and remove them from the pot and put them into a bowl with some butter, heavy cream, garlic, garlic powder, and some salt and parsley. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix those up and make my mashed potatoes. After the sauce is nice and reduced, I'm just going to go ahead and put the chicken back into the pan and let everything simmer together while I finish up the rest of the meal. Here's the finished product. Yes, it is on a paper plate. I didn't want to do any extra dishes, but this is the chicken piccata with mashed potatoes and asparagus. And honestly, it turned out really good and I was very surprised. So like I said, the recipe is down in the description and make sure you guys check it out. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and I will see you guys next week. Bye.